In front of me here are two examples of the mineral cuprite. And cuprite is the first oxide mineral on your mineral list, and this is gonna be a copper oxide. Um, this one is really easy to identify just because it looks like a lot of copper minerals and we have a lot of really similar mineralization going on here. So let's get a closer look. These two samples that I have are not the best samples. Um, there are some really nice crystals out there of cuprite, but um, especially in Arizona when you're out in the field, this is actually what cuprite's more likely going to look like. So this sample here... Let's take a look. We have, you'll notice a couple different things. We've got this kind of like massive brown rock here, and then these kind of really sparkly, um, purplish, pinkish, shiny minerals here. That actual shiny mineral, that's going to be the cuprite. This is just evidence that we have copper in the area. So the first thing that I look for is the two kinds of luster that we're gonna see here. One of the things is that kind of dusty, orangey, earthy, copper mineral that I'm looking for that just says that there's copper in the rock. And then two is going to be the actual cuprite mineralization here is a really good example. This crystal right here has super duper high reflectivity, but we can still see if we look closely that there's a little bit of red peeking through. So the mineral is still transparent, but it has really, really high reflectivity. So this is gonna be like a sub-adamantine, sub-metallic kind of mineral with really high reflectivity. And this pink color is also really diagnostic. So we've got the luster. The streak of this, we would expect it to be really similar to our other copper minerals. So if I streak this, it should be really um, similar in color, that kind of dusty brown red color. Let's give it a go. Now the problem with streaking this is that I don't want to actually streak any of these beautiful purple minerals and it would be really hard to get that. But this is as good as we can do. Let's see. So this kind of reddish brownish tinge which is really indicative of a copper oxidation color. Um, this is what we'll typically see for streak. I'll put this back here. Now we've got this sample here um, which is the same one. You can see still that kind of greenish tinge that's that earthy luster and then we have these in the center here these two crystal faces um, that are a little bit more well formed but they're still not great crystals um, the density of these guys it's pretty dense just because it is a copper mineral um, but it's not going to be as dense as something like galena that has lead in it or anything like that and it's also really difficult to tell the density because it is in this kind of massive crystal form where we don't have just one pretty crystal to hold in our hands so a little bit less diagnostic um the cleavage of this it doesn't really have great cleavage it would be really hard to break this sample here it'd probably be brittle it'd be conchoidal a little bit um uneven cleavage so that's not going to be a diagnostic property um, the color of these, this kind of bright, like, well, I guess it's not bright, but this kind of pinky magenta kind of color is really indicative of having um, cuprite here. And it does form in the isometric crystal system. If we had good crystals of this, we would expect to see like octahedra, maybe even cubes. Um, but because it more commonly forms in this massive um, look, to it, we're not really going to see those good crystal faces. So overall, the most indicative things of cuprite, that kind of pinky, purpley color, noticing the earthy luster of the copper mineralization around it, um, this really, really high luster, um, high reflectivity luster, sub-adamantine, is also really, really um, diagnostic. And that's probably about it. It has a moderate hardness. It's not super soft, not super hard. Um, I think it's about a four, so we could scratch it with a nail, but we don't have any really good crystal faces. So the biggest thing to remember is color and look for the evidence of copper being there in the first place and luster as well. And that's cuprite.